Last year, we indicated that the new Department of Communications will become operational from the 1st of April 2015. It is therefore with a great sense of pride that I stand before you today to report that the department is hard at work and has successfully completed its first year of operation. Last year, when I stood before this house, we reported that cabinet had approved the final amendments to the broadcasting digital migration policy. I'm delighted to inform this house that since then, we have made significant progress in implementing the approved policy. Amongst others, we have been able to achieve the following critical milestones. We have finalized the digital terrestrial TV and direct to home standards in April 2015 and integrated digital TV standards in September 2015. Between May and June 2015, we undertook a, a series of bilateral engagements with Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique, Swaziland, and Lesotho to ensure the harmonization of the radio frequency spectrum in order to develop plans to reduce any potential broadcast signal interference. During this visit, I signed joint communique, joint statement, and memorandum of cooperation with my neighboring counterparts. I can report in confidence to this house that to date no interference has been reported. In July 2015, we launched the commencement of the public awareness campaigns to educate the citizens about the need to migrate and the benefits of the broadcasting digital migration program. The launch was followed by a series of digital migration Izimbizo campaigns and that, that I led across the country. In August 2015, a conformance regime to ensure that the set-top boxes and related accessories are produced in South Africa was finalized. It is currently being used to test whether the set-top boxes comply with the approved South African DTT standards. In August 2015, also a panel of manufacturers it was established by, CAS, by USASA to produce the set of boxes and related accessories such as antennas and satellite dishes. The implementation of the long-awaited digital migration has started in the Northern Cape. This SKA-bound community, KMOS, has become the first beneficiary of the direct to home and the DTT set of boxes. I would like to thank the mayor of KMOS. Councillor Olin and Ward Councillor Mr. Africaner, who are present here for their invaluable support in ensuring that this project is launched successfully. <laughs> Councillor Olin and Councillor Africaner, can you stand up so that the people should see you? <laughs> uh, members, these are true ambassadors of the digital migration program in their communities. Thank you so much. We will also continue to work with the Department of Science and Technology to ensure that we complete the Northern Cape SK area on or before the 2016 June deadline. The registration process made it possible for us to launch the distribution and installation of the government subsidized set of boxes and related accessories on 17 December 2015 in KMOS. Under the theme, Zuko Itaya, it's happening Sahomelela in South Africa. Mrs. Langer, the first recipient of the government set top box is with us this morning. Mrs. Langer, Mefro Langer, the Easter on Fanger van the Reherring Subsidy Set of Box. Say as here met on there she is. Mefro, a case by a throat of your mefro. Van Mia Stefan Oz Odelene, Esni, and to assess this on technology that they break me. Daya, thank you, mefro. Yes, take a breath. 